with your hosts, Joe Reinhardt and Krista Earnhardt. Good afternoon. You're listening to the Day of Prayer and Praise on the Afternoon Drive. All right, let's hear from uh, one of our MVNU students who's a senior this year who's uh, going to be graduating here in just a few months. I've had the opportunity to get to know this guy. Uh, James McDowell had a chance to sit down with one of our MVNU seniors, Scott Hilbert. I am James McDowell, and I'm here with former MVNU basketball player Scott Hilbert, who is now uh, the president of SIFE, which is Students in Free Enterprise. So you're a current student here at school. You're a senior this year, right? Looking forward to graduation? Yes, uh, very excited to get out into the real world. And I'm right there with you, let me tell you. Um, how often do you listen to the station? Um, I'm, able, I'm able to listen to WNZR about four or five times a week okay. on my commutes to, uh, commutes to school. You live off campus. You're married now, right? How yes. how long have you been married? Been married for about two years now. Okay. How's married life coming for you? It's fantastic. Easily the best decision of my life. Awesome. Awesome. So now you mentioned that you listen pretty regularly. Do you have any favorite songs or anything like that that we play here on the station? Yeah. One of my favorite songs you guys play is City on Our Knees by Toby Mack. I just really find that song to be encouraging and uplifting and just makes me really focus on my faith as I listen to that. How long have you been a Christian? I've been a Christian um, all of my life. I truthfully started following Christ when I was 14 years old. Um, in about eighth grade, I really came to know God when my mom um, just kind of called me out one day and said, you know what, Scott, you need to start believing. And from then on, I've been actively following Christ and growing with him passionately every day. So you grew up in a Christian home then? Yes, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a Christian home um, that we, uh, my family and I definitely served the Lord in all that we did. So what has life been like for you since since you made the decision personal, since you made it for yourself? It's honestly it's it's changed my life. I think as any Christian can say that once they begin following Christ, they become changed. Um after I became to know Christ, he ended up leading me to a conference where I met my wife, um my my wife now and and eventually he ended up leading me leading me here to Mount Vernon, which I was unexpected um to even come here. And then at the last minute, doors opened up and he provided the way. And that's how I'm fortunate enough to be at Mount Vernon now. As I came in my freshman year, I really underestimated the importance of WNZR. And now that I'm leaving as a senior, I can only hope that I find a radio station that is as uplifting as the Lifeline has been these past three years for me. As being a a member of the um, Students and Free Enterprise here at school, um, the Lord has actually used you in some... Financial ways, uh, you could say, or in some business ways, but then also in some spiritual ways as well. Uh, kind of explain that. With SIF, which is, um, as James said, students in free enterprise, I have really been able to expand my skills as a person and definitely as a Christian. I've been able to travel to Belize now three times in nine months to work on a project where we, where we provide clean water for the citizens in Belize. We go into elementary schools and we teach them about the importance of clean water. And then we sell life straws to them, which are portable water filters. Um, and the reason we sell them we don't, and we don't just give them away is because people tend to support what they help to create. And being a Christian, that was a difficult concept for me to understand because I naturally want to go in and I want to help people and just give these life straws away. But in all reality, it, it doesn't help them at all. They just take these life straws and, and throw them away. But if they take some ownership and purchase them, then that truly impacts them. And while we're in Belize, we're able to really witness to people. And if you've ever been on a mission trip or been out of the country, you you realize how fortunate we are in the United States to have churches and radio stations and um, small group Bible studies and a lot of opportunities to just just hear God working. Well, then when you get to go to a different country like that, like Belize, and see it happening and and just work God's just work with God and for God there, it really is empowering. As Scott Hilbert, an MVNU senior, we're going to get more of that conversation with James McDowell after we hear the song that Scott mentioned, Toby Mac, City on Our Knees, on WNZR. It's Lifeline 2012. If you got to start somewhere, 